Hello girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich with your Witchy Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about Bloodstone, but before we get into that, let me go ahead and give a shout out to our patrons on Patreon. Thank you to Linda and Sophia for being patrons on Patreon. If you would like to be a patron on Patreon, you can hit up the link down below. The funds uh, go to help start this Krista Pagan church that we are starting here on YouTube. If you would like to support me in, and this channel in other ways and get something tangible for your money, you can hit up the eBay link down below. Uh, that is my eBay store. It helps keep the lights on, helps keep food in my stomach, and helps me keep helps keep me happy. Anyway, uh, you can hit up that link down below. If you do not have the funds to support this channel, that's fine. You can hit, support it in other ways. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, hit that thumbs up or thumbs down button, doesn't matter to me. It all appeases the algorithmic gods of YouTube. All hail the algorithmic gods of YouTube. And if you have done all that, and if it is safe for you to do so, consider sharing this on your social media platforms. Be sure to hit up the comment section down below to let me know what you think of today's topic. Today, like I said, we are going to be talking about Bloodstone. I have a few little pieces of Bloodstone. Uh, they're not terribly expensive. They're These are really small, so they're not really going to show up on camera uh, to any point where it's going to give it justice. But it is a green stone that has little tiny uh, flecks of uh, red in there. And it kind of looks like, you know, it, it's just bleeding a little bit. And that is Bloodstone. Not terribly expensive. Um relatively on the cheaper side i, I would uh, venture to say uh but yeah you can pick these up at uh fairly easily at any metaphysical store you can buy them on amazon you can uh get them on ebay again let, let me look on on amazon right now because i was just on amazon uh returning something uh let me look up bloodstone and Let's see, you can get a whole bracelet of bloodstone beads for $14. Um, you can get a little worry stone type for about eight, eight bucks. So yeah, not terribly expensive. You can buy it in the raw, you can buy it cut, you can buy pendulums with it. And it has a lot of different uses, which we're gonna go into here. Um, as per usual, I'm going from Love is in the Earth um, by Melody, R.I.P. And she states, uh, the astrological signs uh, are Aries, Pisces, and Libra, also known as, this is also known as heliotrope. So if you see heliotrope in some of the old spell working and whatnot, it is referring to bloodstone. Anyway, uh, she says, bloodstone is a variety of quartz, which occurs in massive formations. The color is green with flecks of red in smaller pieces of the mineral the red does not appear. Now, I am really fortunate on these ones that if you look really closely, you can actually see them. Hold on, give me one second here. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so I, I lost track of where I was thinking. I had to close the door and then my partner came in and uh, we were talking about something uh, that you all will find out about later. Um, anyway, um, as I was saying, the uh, little flecks of red, I am really fortunate that you can actually make some of these out if you have a nice lighting and a, um, you know, a little magnifying uh, device. Uh, you can make them out a little bit clearer. Uh, nice bright lighting, you can actually see them fairly uh, clearly with your eyes, even though they are smaller pieces. Now, the bigger piece that I have here... Uh, you can see some of the red in that. So, there you go. Anyway, let's move on. In addition to its properties listed in Chalcedony, uh, in the Chalcedony section of this book, the following attributes apply. Now, I want to go to the Chalcedony section before we go any further. So, give me a second here because I was not prepared for that. Um, Chalcedony. There we go. Chalcedony is considered a member of the quartz family. It is either transparent, translucent, or opaque. Uh, let's see. Attributes. Attributes. Uh, used for balancing the energy of the body, mind, emotions, and spirit. Is a stone of brotherhood among all. Um, let's see. And let's see. It symbolizes benevolence and goodwill. And uh, the benevolence stemming from the 
nurturing energy within the stone. It alleviates hostilities, irritability, and melancholy. It enhances generosity and responsiveness and receptivity. Uh, so I'm just, I'm going to go over that. Pro I'll probably do Chalcedony another time, but just to give you a little bit of an example of what bloodstone can be used for. Um, let's see, this mineral is, going back to the actual bloodstone entry in here, this mineral is an a intense healing stone and a stone of courage. If you have watched my previous videos, um, you can find them on the Witchy Wednesday uh, playlist. There is actually a video entitled Bloodstone Protection and Courage Spell. Uh, if you want an example of a spell, uh, some spell work that you can do with this stone. Um, moving on. <clears throat> it can be used to awaken and introduce uniformity within the vibrations of energy in the base, navel, sacral, and heart chakras. It helps one to accept the change in energy fields and to recognize the beneficial aspects of turmoil prior to perfection. It also provides one with the centering and grounding energy of the heart and is uh, conducive to balancing the total body in order to help one to overcome any distress and anxiety which is associated with the realignment of the energies. Again, this is uh, something that I, I did within that video for spell work, helping with courage, anxiety, stuff like that. So... I do want to preface all of this by saying, you know, for one, I'm not a doctor. For two, um, sometimes anxiety needs to be medically dealt with. Um, and I don't want to negate that fact. And I actually just want to put that out there that sometimes, you know, a stone isn't going to be your be all end all um, uh, way, uh, your, your cure all. Um, sometimes you need medical professionals to step in and help everything go along and bloodstone can help with that it can be um something that you meditate with and you work with in in order to reach those goals of lessening anxiety and um and whatnot but also seek medical professionals if that is something that you absolutely need to or even if you don't absolutely need to sometimes you know just talking to a therapist is something that is helpful. I've done it in the past. I know plenty of others that have done it in the past, and it does help to to get some of that stuff off your chest. And sometimes it's something that needs to be reoccurring. Sometimes it's a one-time thing. Depends on on what issues you need to talk about. So moving on. Uh, the message which lies within Bloodstone is to be here now. It grants one the mastery of renewal for renewal of the physical, mental, and emotional. It also provides for the revitalization of love, relationships, and friendships. There's an inherent strength to the energy of the stone, allowing for transmittal of practical and dispassionate guidance. It also provides introductory information with respect to the application of the advice and counsel. Uh, it further instills the wisdom and sensitivity to facilitate the application and provides more unification of the energy bodies to advance the attributes of harmony, adaptability, and strength. It helps one to demonstrate unselfishness and idealism, to improve one's talents and abilities, to enhance creative efforts, and to support, support the decision-making process. So if you are in a planning process for something, having this little stone with you and meditating on it, um, you know, just looking at all the different lines and everything, and let that process just unfold, let um, your mind wander and it'll help you, um, you know, figure out the planning process and what needs to happen in what order. Uh, especially if you're not logistically minded. I'm one of those ones. I'm a great planner, not a great uh, accomplisher. But I can plan something out to the T, how it needs to be done and everything. And, you know, I wouldn't really need bloodstone as much for something like that. But if that is something that you have a challenge with, definitely try to use bloodstone with it. Uh, let's see. 
where was I? Uh, it has been used in accessing the principles of mysticism, providing for insight into the immediate spiritual intuition of truths which transcend ordinary understanding. That's interesting. I, uh, uh, it also helps one tran um, I'm sorry. It also helps one toward the direction. Or, I do apologize. I, I can read. I can read good. It also helps one toward the direct union with the divine through contemplation, meditation, and love. Bloodstone has also been used to facilitate admittance to the spiritual realms of the ancestors, providing for an open avenue of communication with same. The information received is usually via the intuitive state. So if you're looking to work with ancestors more, definitely uh, would try that. Um, maybe keeping a piece on your ancestor altar whenever you go there to meditate, uh, holding that stone and, um, you know, maybe even after it sits on the ancestor altar for a while, carrying that around with you would, would be beneficial as well. It has been used in the treatment of the spleen and to purify the blood, kidneys, bladder, intestines, and liver. It can neutralize toxins within the body and can provide for elimination of same. It has been used in the treatment of leukemia and, and to stabilize, balance, and increase or decrease as necessary the flow of blood. It has also been used to aid in the rectification of failing eyesight, lung congestion, and rashes. And it vibrates to the numbers 4 and 6. Now that last part, again, not a doctor. Do not take any medical advice from a, a book. Take a medical advice from a licensed physici physician that actually went to medical school. Um, I, I would not... Uh, trust a bloodstone. Oh, you know, if I had leukemia, I would not be trusting a, a stone to help me more than, you know, going to a doctor on a regular basis to combat that illness. So, yeah, definitely something that I want to stress on that. If you need medical professionals, you know, have those medical professionals. Anyway, that's all that I have for Bloodstone. Again, not an expensive uh, little rock to, to buy. Uh, again, you can probably get something about this size. Um, actually, you can probably get one that's probably about this size for about 10, 15 bucks total. You know, something about that size. Of course, this is not Bloodstone. But yeah, you, you can find something probably about that size on Amazon or uh, eBay, whatnot, um, where you can find those for a relatively inexpensive price. So that's all that I have for this Witchy Wednesday. Join me on the next Witchy Wednesday. Um, and until then, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye.